message I want to share with you today are about uh, babies, dreams that I had about several babies. And I believe really these babies, each one of them, represent um, a new movement in the body of Christ. And I felt since the beginning that the Lord was showing me it's a movement of love and it's going to be brought forth from the womb of the anointing, the woman. The first dream I had was September 1st, 2014. And it was about a baby that would be born at Rosh Hashanah. And this baby was anointed from the womb and she would preach and pray and prophesy. The thing is, she was coming quicker than the church anticipated. And church leadership had fallen asleep waiting for her arrival. They waited so long they just grew weary. So the second, um, well, in that dream, Bob said to me that church leadership was at the hospital waiting for the arrival of this baby because it would be the first baby born of the new year in the church and leadership didn't want to miss it. But the fact was they had really fallen asleep. So the second dream I had um, was December 8th. Now the baby had been born at Rosh Hashanah, but it was not accepted by leadership. It didn't come in the package that they wanted or desired or what they were looking for. So this baby now, even though she was clean and she was ready uh, to, for ministry, the church rejected her. The mother in this dream didn't want anything to do with her. She just abandoned her. She wouldn't let anybody take care of it. Finally, she did turn it over to me and said, here, you know, you can have it. She left. So I feel that this was the women coming forth in ministry and man or mankind is rejecting her yet again. If this movement dies this time, it's really being laid at the door of the church because the church is rejecting her. <clears throat> then on Christmas Day, which is a day we celebrate the birth of our Savior, I had another dream. And this was kind of unusual, but it was very exciting to me because what I saw was a hospital, and it was a different kind of hospital. The nurses or the agents there were angels. And as these baby girls were born, they were brought out to an incubator outside of the hospital. And the incubators, it, it was not like we would normally see in the hospital. They were probably, um, I don't know, two feet or so, three feet wide. And they were that plastic, but each baby was wrapped in a pink swaddling cloth with a pink uh, cap. So these were all baby girls and they were laid side by side. Uh, you could get about a dozen in each little incubator, but they were shoulder to shoulder, side to side. And then there would be another, they were like a drawer stacked one on top of the other. The nurse, well, it was really the angel said to me that they would have, this is the latest technology that was monitoring them. And they would monitor every move they made and every breath that they took. And that these, these babies were anointed and they were being brought outside because they weren't accepted inside. So I believe that the Lord has been raising up leaders, women leaders for ministry. And even though the church has rejected them, they need to be a part of the church. It's not that he's removing them from the church. He's called them aside himself to raise them up and to teach them so that um, they would be able to move into church leadership. I believe God has hardened the heart of man to a point that he rejected them. But in that rejection, the women have had no place to go but to the Lord which is part of the Father's plan. He drew them near to Him. They learned how to rest in Him, how to receive His love. And now man must receive the love of the woman to come side by side with them. You know, it takes both a man and a woman to make a baby. We need mothers and fathers in the church. Man cannot create a baby with another man. It's going to take man and woman to come together, leaders in the church, to raise up this movement of love. And it's what 
the Lord told us back in 2008 that Bob and I were the uh, custodial parents of this movement. And we said, what movement, Lord? And he said, the love movement. He is love. God is love. And this is a movement that's coming forth. Then the last dream that I had was, um, I believe it was the 30th of December. And what I saw was the uh, plan for this baby is to grow and mature and raise up others in the church. But the enemy has a plan, it's called the religious spirit, to kill this baby. It's a big fat alligator, that's how I saw it, and it has grown so fat over the years because it has just devoured every time that the women would try to come forth in ministry, she was devoured. So this baby's grown fat, the alligator's grown fat by eating these babies live as they would come forth. But now, we need to take our rightful place. We need to stand against this religious spirit and devour it. We need to cut off its head. So I believe the Lord has a plan uh, for this baby. The baby that I saw, the last baby, it was in the harvest field. And it was playful, it was joyful, and it was doing the word and the work of the kingdom. But the enemy's plan is to kill it. So we need to stand against it and allow the women to come forth in ministry now. And there's ministry in all areas, not just from the pulpit. So we need to stand with the women at this time and allow these babies to mature and let the man know that God is love and these are his love children and let's see what what the church will become as the women and men work together in this fathers and mothers and bring forth love children so be blessed in jesus name and remember to subscribe to the youtube channel thank you